All right, everybody, welcome back to the OptiShot Academy. I'm Chad. And I'm Ben. Okay, center face contact with your driver is the skill that is going to be critical to you hitting your longest, straightest drives. So having said that, we want to play around with a different way to go with exploring the uh, club face, and we're talking about hitting it high, hitting it low, hitting it on the middle. Last week we talked about toe heel center. This, this week we're going to go up and down the face. Tell everybody at home why this is important. Yeah, so what we're going to do uh, today is we're going to work a little bit more on the vertical part of the face. So a lot of times, if you notice you have marks on the top of your driver, chances are the club is coming in too low as you're striking it. So why this is so important, when you're hitting the top of the driver, that ball just goes straight up in the air. So it goes more up as opposed to out. So for those of you who are hitting your driver extremely high, this is gonna help you out quite a bit. So one of the things we're gonna experiment with today is we're gonna experiment with hitting down on the driver we're going to experiment with hitting up on the driver, and we're going to experiment with something in between. So the reason that this is so important is if you have a person that's hitting down on the golf ball, let's just say five degrees, and a person that's hitting up on the golf ball five degrees, it's going to, the guy that's hitting up on it five degrees, that ball's going to travel about 25 to 30 yards farther. So this skill is actually really important. So you're telling me that if everything else is equal, if you and I yep. are both swinging at 100 miles an hour, if you swing up on it five degrees and I swing down on it five degrees, you're going to be 30 yards longer than me? That's right. I wonder, so a lot of Good people... Good luck competing with that. <laughs> so, so a lot of people would come to us and be like, I don't understand why so-and-so yeah. hits it way past me. Could this be one of those reasons? This is one of the reasons, All absolutely. Right. Got it. So you're going to run your experiment, mm -hmm. and we're going to go down a little bit, up, and then somewhere in the middle. You got it. Where would you like to start? Let's start with hitting down slightly and okay. see what happens to where I'm hitting it on the face. Good. So again, your intention and then the reality of the feedback is what we're looking to, to find the difference here. Yes? Yeah. Just for safety purposes, uh, indoors, can I have a lower tee, please? <laughs> <laughs> At home, beware. If you try to hit down and that ball goes up, just beware of what's going on. So uh, lower tee could be helpful. <laughs> if I was outside, I'd run with the high tee, but we are indoors. I don't want to break, uh, break the light fixture that's in front of me. It's a good thing we have different tee heights in here. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start by hitting down on my driver. Whoa. That's so like one a tiger stinger, man. <laughs> yeah. So it might be useful on the golf course. So if you have a hole that maybe uh, the wind is blowing into your face at 30 miles per hour, the shot can actually be useful. But if the wind was not blowing, I'm leaving a lot of distance on the table. So for those of you at home that watch that shot, it only carried in the air about 200 yards. Did All not right. go far. All right. So everybody, uh, the outcome that we thought was going to happen, the ball popping up, the thing that we were uh, concerned about, didn't actually happen. The opposite actually quite happened. Yeah. So I would love for you to show the people at home where you actually hit it on the face on that one. Isn't that fascinating? Smack dab in the middle, it just went super low. No problem. So a lot of the times, you know, we would know that you got to hit up on it or, you know, there's rules. But having said that, it's very, very important to go back to running these experiments to find out for you what works. Because what actually happens is probably going to be different than what you think mm -hmm. happens, yeah? So for me, uh, you know my golf game pretty well. So I have a tendency to actually hit up on it too much. Yes. So a lot of times when I try to hit down, it, it works very well for me. I hit it much straighter as I do it. So a lot of times when we're measuring how up or down I hit on the ball, typically I hit up on it anywhere from seven to eight degrees. And when I intend to hit down, it's actually still up about three to four, which isn't is pretty it, ideal. Isn't that fascinating? Yeah. All right. So having said that, now let's see what happens when you try to hit up on the ball. Let's see where you hit on the face there. So the ball launched higher. Ball launched higher, yep. Yeah. I virtually hit almost the same spot on the face. It was a little bit on the toe, but a lot of times what we notice at the academy, if somebody's swinging up too much, they have a tendency to hit the bottom part of the club face, and they're leaving a lot of distance on the table as well when you're hitting the bottom part of the face. When we hit the bottom part of the face, the golf club wants to twist this way, and it will cause the ball to launch a little bit lower, even though we're trying to hit up on the ball. What's fascinating to me is like how much, we do this a lot, right? Yep. Cool. So how much would you say you've done these types of activities? Who knows? Infinite number of times. Who knows? So every day we demonstrate it. Yeah. So we, we demonstrate it every day. And then what's fascinating to me is that uh, in doing this, it actually gets hard to miss the middle. Uh, that is true. I think uh, some of the activities that we were doing earlier today, the cover the face and the heel toe center, 
kind of allow me to hit the middle more frequently right now. Yeah. So for, for those of you at home, is the, the more you go through this, you're actually going to discover, like, man, I start hitting it in the middle. So it's a very counterintuitive, a very backwards way to go about getting very precise with where you're hitting it on the golf club. So that one you tried to hit up. Mm -hmm. One more time. Try to go somewhat level. Somewhere in between, yeah. Okay. That was probably my best one. Yeah, let's see if that baby stays in the air longer. And yes, Boom. it did. Oh, wow. I just so, can't help myself. Yeah, how today. about that? <laughs> You're on fire today, man. <laughs> okay, so we want you at home to, on purpose, try to hit down, see where it hits. Try to hit up, see where it hits, somewhere in the middle. And then remember the slightly, moderately, severely continuum. We could also play with that. The more you focus on just calibrating for where you're hitting it on the face, the better you're going to drive it when you go out and play on the weekend. Keep up your training. Well, we'll look forward to seeing you the next time at the OptiShot Academy.